Hello there, today I'm going to be checking out the first ever beta that launched for Juno and somewhat at the same time comparing it to the latest beta we have and I'll probably also rant a little bit about nostalgia. It's different. Oh, it is different. Okay, so yeah, of course the, uh, the intro is no longer in this version or wasn't in this version. And that is just telling me the new version, of course. And as you can see, we are in 0.6.7.2 early access. And look at this. This is interesting. And honestly, the, fundamentally, the UI hasn't changed much since this. And I'm assuming most of these crafts aren't going to work. Um, maybe some of them will. I'm not sure. Let me f see. Uh, let me find a craft that I know wouldn't work in this version, such as this. What's it gonna do? Oh, it won't load it, okay. So that's fair. Um, and as you can see here, we have the old engines and the old capsules as well. So let's uh, go into the designer. Ooh, I didn't even know this existed. That's a cool, that's a cool little background screen I've never seen before. Also, the platform is uh, actually like 3D in this. Honestly, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. So I believe the current platform we have is just a 2D shape, but this is actually completely 3D. Well, of course you can't see through the bottom because you need to be able to see, but it's actually got an edge there, which is cool. Man, this is so weird not having any of the UI down here or across here and we just have these are all we have. Oh wow, I don't I don't like this, okay? This is one thing I'm happy that slightly changed is the fact that we have all these buttons, but they're all the exact same color. And there's no like separation. There's <laughs> like they're all the same. So like you have to read through these to see which one's which. Oh, let's look in the settings. Oh wow. <laughs> we do not have much here. We re oh, I should turn the music on. Let me turn the music on. I don't know if uh, if I can get copyright for this, and I actually don't know. Uh, but yeah, you can actually turn off and on re-entry heat damage from the <laughs> from in here, which is kind of funny. <laughs> things up here. Let's look at the parts list we have here, though. Oh man, this is weird. Look how low quality they are. You can barely tell what they are on PC. Like, what is this? Yeah, fairing base. This barely looks like a strut. <laughs> they also have the three types of engines. The infam infam infamous pixie engine here. I do like it shows us the engine details there. That's interesting. Apex engine and the mage engine. We have the wings. And these, uh, these part model pictures have barely changed. Oh man, look at that stance of the test dummy. <laughs> That's funny. Also, if you haven't played uh, Juno when the test dummy was in the game, if you, there's a little, little scary, spooky. It's got eyes. As you can see, if you turn the. Uh, by... Oh, we don't have transparency for colors. Wait, what? Oh, that sucks. I didn't even know we didn't have that at this point. Damn. Um, I can pull out modern silver assemblies. Oh. These actually work, kind of. Wait. Wait. Oh, they don't have part properties. Wait. Oh yeah, that's kind of interesting, actually. But they still work. They actually still work. Like, the hemispheres... I think these are hemispheres. They actually still work. That's interesting. The solar panels don't work. Or maybe nothing on here works, because anyway, uh, of the part... Yeah, nothing here works. And the parachutes, everything's uh, too old. There's meant to be an engine down here too, and that's uh, not working. We just took a strut on here. And this has literally not even changed. Like, the I think the texture is slightly changed, but this has barely changed since uh, it was added. And that's all we get. We also have the, uh, the fuel adapter still, which is <laughs> pretty nice. And we actually have command chips as well. I didn't know the game had command chips this early, but yeah. So yeah, we don't have Drews and you can't put this. Oh no, we can't, wait. No, we can't put him in there. 
Is there any way to put anything anything in command pods? I guess not. I guess they didn't have interiors back then. Very interesting. It's whatever. Actually, honestly, I this looks really good on PC. Like, I used to play on mobile from this exact launch site and it looked nothing like this. Like you could not see very far, but this looks actually amazing. I really miss old Drew. Like this this launch site is just so interesting. Also, like this has really shown me how much um terrain how how like bumpy the terrain is here, like because I can see that on mobile. And now I can see how bumpy the terrain is here. Like, there's dips here. And... It's... Like, we are in a very... I mean, I think Drew in general is just very... Or old Drew in general is just very bumpy. Because I, I, I don't... I don't... Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it's smaller. In fact, yeah, I can... I'm pr I can confirm it's smaller based on how tiny the launch site is there. And we're not even that high up. So yeah, the that makes the mountains like way bigger than um, they would be. Like these are almost like in, like you know they're really high <laughs> for how big this planet is at least. So yeah, and this uh, this launch site is very nostalgic, very very cool and underrated. And we don't have a fab, we have a fake fab. <laughs> also, this UI, I remember this UI as well. Although a different version of this UI, I remember the one with the... Although we don't have RCS, so it's not going to show our RCS. Oh, that's cool. And our... Oh, it's this one. Oh, man. Okay. I, okay, interesting. And we can't close the flight view. We have to have this open. Literally, like, we can't have... We can't close this. Which is pretty interesting. At this part, I decided to do commentary in editing because the audio of the engine was so loud it basically cut me out and I, you couldn't hear me. So at this part, I basically launched into orbit or at least as far as this rocket will go with the fuel it has because obviously we can't activate infinite fuel here. I talk about the engine smoke, how I think it actually looks slightly better than current Juno's engine smoke. I don't know why, it just looks better to me. I talk about the mountains in the background looking really cool. I of course talk about the plume for this rocket engine which is of course looks like a jet engine afterburner and how far we've gotten now with the engines in the game which look amazing and i also speak about how when you're boosting up into the vacuum of space the sound for the engine doesn't change it stays exactly the same as it is at sea level as well as obviously the engine it doesn't expand in this version let's go retrograde and so we are at 100 kilometers right now. Yeah, the scale is definitely a bit weird. We're coming in at 1,500 meters a second. And it won't let us time warp in the atmosphere, actually. If you look at the top right here, it's going on to the two times, but not actually doing anything. And we have, we actually have the, um, the, Aero effects as well. Aero effect reference in a way. I don't know what it is about this version of Juno, but it just feels really nice to play. Although I will say there is very, you can very clearly see the repeating water texture there. So the water looks a bit weird. Just like from up here, it looks really weird. One thing I'll say that I, I, um, I like about the capsule is the like the shape of it. It's like a lot more it's got a lot more shape to it like it's not just like one thing you know okay we're at two kilometers but it feels like we're a hundred meters <laughs> now let's deploy the parachute oh look at that it has a nice uh, texture in it i don't know if we have that on current parachutes i don't remember the water looks like a oh, I don't... it's like it looks like this star, like a star, um, like the gas from a star or something. Maybe it's the same effect from, that they have on um, Juno. Look at the little islands in the background, that's cool. You don't, like, this is this is the one thing that this um, type of planet has against um, Drew, or the current Drew, is, um, oh, that's a bit janky, is, um, Everything is so much bigger on this planet that we can see like those giant islands 
over the horizon here easily, like, and we're not even that high. Oh, the recenter button for the camera's up here, because we didn't have we didn't have camera options, because I'm, I'm pressing the camera button that wouldn't do anything, of course. Oh, we can't go under the water either. Huh. Oh, look at that. It flips the camera when you go like that. Huh. So, I wonder what it looks like under the water then. Like, is there any way for us to know? Other than removing the water? Because we can't go in the water. It acts as if it's the ground. That's very interesting. Wait, what is that? Map view... Oh, what? Why is that there? Wow, that is weird. So it tells... Wait, is that... Is that a bracket and then like a square bracket? <laughs> what is going on there? Oh, that... What is going on there? That is... That is ugly, man. <laughs> that is weird. Also, I, lo I love how the skybox looks in this view. It looks really pretty. Although Drew doesn't look the best because of the it doesn't have any like atmosphere. Whoa! Did you see that? Look what it was doing there. If I zoom out. Wait, what? How did it do that? How did I just do that? That was weird. Wait, let me turn our uh, thing off there. Yeah, oh look at that. It has like smoothing. Whoa. I don't think we have that, right? On current view. Yeah, look. Whoa. That's kind of nice, actually. Like, we have actual smoothing between. Oh, man. I wish we had that on current uh, Juno. But I don't think we have that. And also, we have our different planets here we can go and look at. Oh, that is. Okay, that. We need that. We actually do need that. That would be so nice. So we have Luna here. Like, look at the, this smoothing is actually super nice. Ow. <laughs> Juno, or Sun, as it's called here. Tidos. Tidos looked kind of funky back then. Eurydos. Also very vibrant and funky. And we should have Silera. Yes. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something else. Also, just saying, Silero. I, I like Silero like this. <laughs> I, I just noticed something, though, whilst it was zooming. These stars are actually in the skybox. Look at that. Like, some of these stars are actually, like, they're actually moving. So they're like, look at that. This is just like a particle here. Look at that. <laughs> it's actually, wait, is it moving? Or am I moving? Is it moving? I can't tell. Something's moving. Honestly, though, I kind of like that because, like, the zoo. Because with the zoom in, it looks really cool. It's like space debris or something. Like, look at like, you can like see them moving as we zoom in. Like, if I click on the sun, you can like see them moving. Let's zoom in again. Like, look, they're all moving. It's so cool. It's like a cool effect. I mean, it's not an effect, it's just particles there, but it looks cool. That's, honestly, that's like some weird attention to detail that I actually kind of like. Just those particles, like... Some people won't like that, but I kind of like that. Whoa, is this nighttime? Why is it so grey? Wow, it's really grey. Let's uh, change the skybox colours real quick. So, turn these down. Oh, we can also change our slow mo in here, which is weird that it's between the ambient lights. Okay, that that's a that's a bit of an oversight right there. That it's between these two. Oh wait, is reentry heat damage turned off by default? Huh, that's weird. Yeah, the sky is just grey in at night time apparently. So at this point I build a fully custom rocket and launch it and I speak about the custom smoke at the launch which is actually volumetric if you didn't know which is just really cool. I also talk about the RCS plumes which aren't as long as the ones we currently have in game. They're also like way more sparse with the particles and I also talk a bit about the atmosphere and the sunset and how I like the sunset. 
3,300 meters into the atmosphere and we look, we are at 50 or almost 60 kilometers high and it, look, it looks like we're like very, very low. Like at least as it would go on like current period. Honestly, this, this version of Juno reminds me more of KSP-1 than the current version of Juno does. Okay, I've always thought this part of old Luna it just looks hairy. <laughs> like it when you're far away, it just looks hairy. Anyway, that concludes our look at the old version of Juno or the beta original beta version of Juno. I am probably going to come back to this or might even go to other versions later down the line to look at what's changed and compare it because that could be quite pretty cool. So, yeah. As always, massive thanks to our members, Pedro and ISA Industries, for supplying the funding for the music you can hear in this video, as well as our streams. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.